Rackety. Man, we got one hell of a nice day today. Tickets, Ginny Perry, Mac Cunha, Crazy, Kalaki, Solemn. They'll be sold at the track on July the 3rd. We're only going to have 225 people, so uh, you want to be sure to get your tickets in. And one of the people that's involved is the Beverly Hills Limousine Limited in formal wear. Uh, that's over on West Shore Road in Warwick, and they're going to provide a limo to go get Al for this. Beverly Hills Limousine Limited in formal wear. That's uh, Sal Anania Jr. and Dave Antonucci running the Beverly Hills Limousine Limited. I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, in court from Tivin in Rhode Island in car number 21 with the 05 of Bernie Platt from Attleboro. Car number one is Louis Rotunda with the 40 Hamasi Harmon. 22, Scott Serendisky. Number 99 is Glenn Young in the Junior 99. Dave Petty Jr. in the 57. 102 is Carl Simmons. 03, Paul Melberg. 115, Mike Glad. 76 is Rich Napier. And the green flag happened about two minutes ago. And where was I? I was reading Dave's. And the race is on. Three deep, the 104 having a little bit of a problem as he comes out of the turns, and he's still having a problem. As the 68 of Dave Titus, the green and purple 60, that is purple. Yeah, pink purple. And deep purple, yeah, in the deep. 68 is in the lead with the 58 running in second spot. Al Clements is holding on to that number. 72, trying to keep it in third as Bob Bettencourt's 21 car is pushing him. The number one, looking to fill the hole, Louis Rotundo. There goes Bettencourt up the outside at the halfway mark. At the halfway mark, it's the 68 of Dave Titus in the lead, the 15 of Mark Pierce, giving him a very, very uneasy time out there. Look at Rotundo come through, moves in behind the 72. Rotundo moves in behind the 72. That's Al Clement trying to hold on. Rotundo pulls to the outside. Bettencourt burns the tire a little bit. Loses some room. Going for the lead. The 58 as he leans a little bit on Clements going by and takes over the lead. Scott Serendisky is behind the 72. Getting towed around. With two laps to go. The 58 has the lead. Mark Pierce. Mark Pierce has the lead. Dave Titus is trying to hold on to that second spot. The number one of Lou Rotundo wants to take it away from him. One more lap to go on this first street division heat of the evening. And Bettencourt finally gets a cool down enough to slide into that fourth spot. Scott Serendisky wants to get up in there to qualify too. And the 22 down the inside goes the 40. Hamasi Harmon, they're coming for the finish. And coming across the line is Mark Pierce with the 68 of Dave Titus. The one of Louis Rotundo, 21 Benton. Then Serendinsky in the 20 end of the race changed very, very quickly and without any warning in the last lap. So you never want to count yourself out in this street division. Ready to go with the second one. Coming out is the 88. That's uh, Steve Blades from Somerset. <coughs> the Swansea Sanitation Arnold's Auto Parts car. Larry Oley from uh, East Mansfield is in the 47th car. JNL Enterprises Building Blocks Trades. Ray LeBrun's 34 automobile from Coventry should be next any of these cars yet. I don't see any of these cars yet. Is it? Yeah, they're there. Oh, all right. They're there. Where's that? 104, 119. The 119 of Dean Petty, that is the 34 Ray LeBron from Coventry, Rhode Island. Ron Reed in that yellow number nine in West Coil Liberty Beach Freight Trucking Company. As the track crew pulls to the infield, we look for the green. He winds them. He greens them. As he blasts the 88 with Keith Monroe in the 38 as the 47, the outside car, Larry Olney, does not get off to a good start and very quickly goes to the rear. Bang, bang, all the way down. The 
34. Ray LeBron. Ray LeBron. Oh, we got a little bit of a going together situation over there between the nine of Ron Reed and the 120 of Waterman. Waterman loses a tire on that account. And the 97 going into the pits. If we can get the Waterman car, the 120, all the way around, we'll be lucky. That's Keith Monroe. Keith Monroe. Yeah, he used to used to run that island that uh, Jules Verne's talked about. Wasn't that Keith Moreau? Oh, that was Dr. Moreau, the uh, island doctor. Oh, the 47 somehow got into the fence, too, and he's doing a steam. It's a marvelous package to get into truck and business. And I think I'm going to see if I can get my wife to become an over-the-road trucker. Maybe gone maybe six or seven months at a time. It'd be great if she could do it. Look out for the green. Car number 38. Keith Moreau has the lead again. As Gene Weston in the double zero at the halfway mark. Gene Weston is right in there along with Kenny Morissette. The A119 knocking at the door. Dean Petty. Up around the outside goes the 11 of Morissette. As the 38, a little bit heavy in the rear. Trying to close in on the double zero, and he does close the door, but there isn't quite enough room for everybody in there. You can see all of that coming. You can see all of that coming as all of a sudden, four cars tried to occupy the space. Looking forward to, looking forward to having plenty of of entries. Okay, and uh, Ron made a quick count out there and he said, well, there's 12 cars out there, 12 cars will qualify, and they're not getting any place and they need an awful lot of work to get them straightened out. He says, let's get them off the track because they're all qualified, so he'll call it and we'll try again as we had lost so many cars in that heat. Don't forget, we have two feature events for the streets, so uh, that's why they called that one. So they were all qualified, and only the finishing positions might have changed a little bit, but there was a lot of cars involved that needed a lot of work at that point in time. These are the Chevys that are here, and that's the order they're gonna be on the track, okay? Okay. Looking for it, there's the line, there's the green, we're racing. Nearly everybody gets through the turn, the 23 of Bruce Regal having a problem, if we can keep him going, yeah, okay. There's Richie Wisher with the zero of Frank Geyser right behind him. Up around the outside is Bob Kohler. Kohler in the four, the AA Auto Parts number four, up along the zero, the zero burning a tire. As he's not handling well through the turns, he gets that tire much hotter, he's gonna have a real serious problem. Three and four deep on the back stretch is some more Goodyear graffiti on the wall, and away we go. Once those tires start to spin like that, they stop working. They get hotter and hotter and they spin more and more. And so does the car. Kohler cannot get that four down into the racing room. And the 09 of Tim Nesbitt is getting down in there. Of course, this track is very, very warm. Nancy Sherman around backwards, coming out of the fourth turn. Looks like, uh, is she gonna get it going? She do. Don't get out there now, Nancy! Look out. All right. That was close. Two more to go. Two more to go as Richie Wisher has the lead. Rob Kohler's running second. The zero of Frank Kaiser is third. Tim Nesbitt is fourth. And the 50 automobile of Mark Gagney running in fifth spot. The 63 of Ken Spencer coming through. White flag is out. One more time around for Wisher. Wisher in the 29 as the zero continues.
continuing to hold everybody behind him. He's cutting a wide swath through the turns. Here's your finish, the 29, Witcher. Bob Kohler is second, the zero. Uh, Frank Kaiser finishing third in the 63 of Ken Spencer with driving to get the thing down to where it'll start to handle again because that tire just turns to gum and it just doesn't want to do it. Happy birthday, Gary. And a big happy birthday, Gary, on the side of uh, the number eight automobile. Now, Frank Kaiser Sr. will be on the pole in this one from Smithfield, the Friendwood Auto, number 48, with Scott Fanny. Dealey with Bill Henricks from Portsmouth in the 41. 108 is Chris Rooney from Smithfield, the 71 of Gary Desparri, De Desparri, excuse me. And Tom Broderick in the 65 and the 3 of Jimmy Frittato. And that's the fourth heat in the street division. We have uh... On the number three, can you change it to David Furtado because they registered James Furtado, but I know David Furtado was driving it. It's not James in there. They just changed that. That's Dave in the three? Dave Furtado, not Jimmy? Okay. There we go. There's the line. There's the green. Frank Kaiser, the senior one. And Ed Gannon in the 80 in the 8 automobile. Very, very fast takeoff on these automobiles tonight. A lot of smoke coming out of somebody back there and further back in the pack as Ed Gannon in the 8 car takes over the lead. The 48, Frank Kaiser Sr. in the 98 of Scott Fett. The 84 of Dave Ratcliffe wants to get on by. So does uh, Jay Steely in the 70. Here comes the white flag coming out for the 8 automobile. b &G Racing. Happy birthday, Gary, as he wants to uh, win a heat as a birthday present. Car number 8. Ed Gannon, out of the turn, it's Eddie Gannon and making it. Eddie Gannon and the 48 of Frank Kaiser Sr. in second spot. And the 94 and the 80. No. Well, it's ringing in time. Somebody said. Jim, here's the most. Thank you. You need that one and I'll pull that one for you aside. I don't know who that's so I like this one because the first name first and the last name last. That one's the last name first. Got it. And it's time for four in a row and look at them go. It's the, yeah, the other thing Formula Four the, Division. Uh, we have a lot of fun with them. There's no less the amount of interest in goes involved in these cars, and but a lot less money. Remember, these cars money. cannot be worth more than $1,000 because there's a claiming rule of $1,000 on these automobiles. Uh, Jerry Berthelet, number four, from Woonsocket, uh, Rhode Island, with Stan uh, uh, Sherman from Lakeville in car number 20, Sherman Trucking no Automobile, that'll be outside. Jeff Wilson from West Kingstown in the 99, uh, Jeff Walsh from West Kingstown in the 90. Oh, four cylinders ready to go, looking for it. They're ready to stomp down on it out of the turn. The tremendous roar and ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it. Oh, 
by Jeff Walsh. And they're sorting themselves out four and five deep in the turns. Here in that 20 car, that's Stan Sherman, 20 of Stan Sherman, Shane Gumbo in the 44, the 98. The 98 of Stephen Walsh as they're getting around good. Remember, this is a hot racetrack tonight. A hot racetrack and hold it down the inside. Tearing by the four goes the 99 of Jeff Walsh. That is Jeff Walsh, but he can't seem to keep up the momentum got caught in the draft, I think, and the four went back by. Jerry Berthelet went back by. The six gets up against the wall, back down again. Now, hold on, we got three or four sideways here. The fluorescent 16 of Casey Hiley. Highly visible. As the four again has the lead, the 99 building up momentum again. That's Shane Gamboa and the 98 is Stephen Walsh doing a little drafting out there. And that number four of Jerry Berthelet, the Pistons are just a working their little old hearts out to keep him out of the lead. Ooh, Gamboa a little bit sideways. Look at the 30. That's Greg McNeil. Greg McNeil pouring it on. Greg McNeil landing. Oh, the 99 is dropping out fast. Greg Bagnell on that 30, and he's coming on strong as Bagnell up around the outside. And the four is hard pressed. No starch as he takes over the lead. Bagnell takes over the lead. With two more laps to go, and highly visible, number 16 spins around Casey Highland. Shane Gamboa is on the racetrack, and he's waving his hands. And he's in a bad spot. Hold on. He's waving his hands. Look out. Sure can. Who believes? With two laps to go. This is a feature event for these cars. There are two features. We've got a pile of them. And there's the green off the line. Tires burning. They tear away. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Six, seventh gear, and away they race. White flag coming out, last lap coming out. Hold on, the four is off the racetrack, back on again. Here's McPherson struts with strutting that time, trying to hold things together. The 14 has moved his way up through there. That's Dave Gavlick. Gavlick is sitting up there in second spot right now, I do believe. I'm not sure if he's left or not. But your winner is car number 30. Greg Bagnell, Jr. Two in a row for Greg. As the four, whether he was in the same lap or not, the victory tour, and then he'll be parked at the infield. They take two pictures at once of the two features. This is a good time to mention that these are the cars that are going to be in the Powder Puff Derby next Sunday. What are they? The Formula Fours are going to be oh, running the Powder Puff Derby. Yeah, they have if you haven't signed up, on July the 4th, Auto Pump Derby, 83 Carter Pelletier, Tom Kiefer from Warwick in 26, Automobile J.D. Auto Salvage, Johnson Collision Center. The 39 is Andy Zaharis from Attleboro, car number 39, Andy Zaharis. John LeCount from Pawtucket in car number 09, that's uh, one of the Scott Manning cars. Dana Savory in the 78 with Dan Boone from Norfolk in car number 31, sponsored by LaRusso Corporation and Denim Super Service. Scott Banville from Tiverton, Rhode Island, in car number 9, Jane Nuss from Auto Repair and Sales, and Dave's Tire. Jeff Costa from Somerset in the 06, Dave All Cafe, Shays Getty. Joe Pimentel from Jamestown, Rhode Island, the 86 Auto will be starting 10th. 11th will be the 24 of Paul Guimont from Cumberland, Rhode Island. Car number 24, Adams Auto Parts and Sunoco Super Service in East Providence. Sean Tetro in car number 76 is starting 12th, and he's from West Warwick. Richard Duffy from Warwick in the 19, Paul Bailey Warwick Ford, Action Container and R&R Machine number 19. 84 is Billy. They pull up, wind up the rope, wind the rope up real tight, 
pull back on it hard and give it a choke and away we go. Throw her in gear and... Nine backwards in the turn. He's digging out, getting out of the way. All right. The 53 of Mike Taylor and the 83 of Carter Pelletier having a go at it. They were all by themselves as Carter Pelletier and the 83 gets out in front and goes with it. Look at the traffic coming up through. The zero coming up through. The 81 coming up through. And a lot of traffic coming up through. it up. Carter Pelletier opening up a pretty decent lead. He's hoping that nothing happens and shortens it all up very quickly as Carter Pelletier on a nice easy ride. He's got the set turned up high. The stereo speakers going and he's out in the front. As the 86 almost up into the fence. Look at this. Look at this. Down the back stretch the zero and the 88 and the 81 are going at it. The 88 and the 81 and the yellow is out. The yellow is out. We've got uh, debris on the racetrack on the third turn. Debris on the third turn. Three laps down. Three laps complete. We got debris on the third turn. And it's happened two or three times. So they do know they can't put an exotic piece of equipment out there. There's the line. There's the power is on. I think. Yeah, there we go. Out of the pass comes a thundering herd. As the 88 coming out, that's Kevin Casper with the zero of Sparky Arsenal. Up around the outside goes the, who is that? That's the 83. Halfway. Pushing that guy right up into the wall. Yeah, a long ways around as the 83 and the 06. Oh. He's pushing him into the inside. The 83 and the 06 are not exactly on Christmas card mailing lists of each other as the pair of them are going at it. A warning for the 06, Jeff Costa. Now Sparky Arsenal is coming in on Casper. That's Kevin Casper in the lead. Sparky Arsenal and the Zero right behind him. We got ourselves a race between the 88 and the Zero. As the 98, the 68, whatever it is. 68, getting around backwards. Arsenal to the outside of the 88. Wheel to wheel, door handle to door handle. Spark plug to spark plug, out of the turn. Casper a little bit ahead of him. Sparky gets underneath him. Casper may have to use the traffic. Whoa-hoo! Uh, one left to go now. Arsenal gets under Casper as Casper was wide. Arsenal gets under Casper. Casper not giving up. Out of the turn. This is your finish. And Sparky Arsenal does it. As Kevin Casper finishing in second spot with the 81, I think it is, of uh, Dave Banfield finishing in third. Wow. So we got uh, Bagdell and the Zero of Sparky Arsenal sharing the victory circles. Sign down there. Sign down there. Not yet. I'm not going to break my... No, I'm not going to either. They must. They got it. Okay. They got it. They got it. They got it. Okay. There we go. The Volkswagen of North Alabama marks VW Burks. Box. Yeah. And Farfrick Nook and Rain Supreme in the second one there. Okay. As Sparky Arsenal goes out. And the Dirty. The Dirty is an American car. Rick Bechdel. I think it is, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. We gotta make a rule that they can't take the little thing off the side that says what kind of car it is. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm lost. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, 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 right.
Whitehead in the 92 of the Smithfield Kennels car, and Ken Bamford from Coventry, Rhode Island in the 15 car. Simpson Brothers Auto Sales F&H Auto Machine. Bamford signs Legal Motors, all sponsor. There's the line, there's the green, we're racing. As the Sportsman Division, a little bit more speed, more power coming out of that turn, and very quickly, a lot of shuffling going on out there. Linwood Cowan moving up from fourth to second and making a challenge right away on Glenn Lawton's number 70. Linwood Cowan in the 56 puts the challenge on. Down the inside goes Cowan. Lawton doing a fine job of keeping Cowan behind him. The black flag coming out for the uh, 92 automobile of Jimmy Whitehead. Black flag for him. some kind of a problem. They black flagging. He's evidently got a problem. They want him off the... Oh, the Cowan car in the infield. As Linwood Cowan spinning out backwards into the infield, leaving the road open for Kevin Nabb in the 23 and Pellin in the 12 as Pellin has moved up through very quickly. Pellin starting in 10th is now sitting in 3rd. Mike Castle, who started behind Pelham, working his way up through as they get up. The leader is still Glenn Lawton. Here goes Pelham down the inside of the 23 of Kevin Knapp. Pelham takes Knapp on the first, out of the second. Right behind him is the 11 of Hassel. Hassel falls through, the yellow is out as the 98 is stuck in the alley. We need a wrecker in the alley. We uh, have to keep the alley. Stop by and see Ron. You'll be hearing from him uh, at invocation time. And he has a nice car on Speedway Scene. And yes, Ron, of course, is our local correspondent for Speedway Scene. He says nice things about us, so we want to say nice things about Ron. Believe me. There's the green. We're racing again. As Lott with the jump. And Pellin and Hassel have to pass now all over again. Helen has room down the inside. He takes the 12 in, but no, the 23 closes the door. Kevin Nabb closes the door on Pellin. Hassel stays up alongside of Pellin. Bernier in the 30. Oh! They I said it, he ran over the wheel of the 91, and the 91 ran over his wheel, and uh, looks like we'll go to a caution. No, I don't know. No, he's getting out of here, okay. 91 is able to get out. Louis dies. Lott still has the lead. Glenn Lott with the lead. Pellin is second. Hassel is following through. There goes Pellin. Down the inside of Lawton. Lawton trying to go in deeper to keep that door closed. Lawton went in very deep into that turn. Nice move on the part of the 70 to keep the 12 behind him as he went in very deep into that third turn. White flag coming out, and what a battle. Down the inside goes Pellin. Can Lawton do it again this time? He kind of closed the door a little hard, as he still has the lead. Into the third turn, coming out for your finish. It's Lawton, Pellin, Hassel, in that order. That's the rear for rough riding. 30 is being sent to the rear for Rock Pete Bernier, who I called your attention to at the same moment that he ran over the wheel, that the other car ran over his wheel. Uh, Pete has been sent to the rear for rough riding, car number 30. Sent to the rear for rough riding. Just, just, I don't want this. Oh. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. 
Tim Andres in the 22, the 16 of uh, Phil Boyer, and the green is out. looking to get underneath Goodrow. Todd Henshaw, trying to keep that uh, strange acting number 28. He's had trouble with it for weeks. And they're trying to get all the trouble straightened away. All new springs. Let's see how it goes tonight in that 28. Dave Nascimento in the red, white, and yellow car number 59. Whoa! And it's all jammed up. That's the second time I've started to talk about somebody and they've got into an accident immediately. I better watch my steed, the white Buick Century. They both got to be moved. They're blocking the track. Green, but no green. They got a green just to get them around the corner and then to get everybody out of trouble. Now they'll go back to the caution. There's no donuts today. It's all patient. Still try to get this heat in. As uh, Mike Silva bringing him around again. There's the line for the speed. I can't step with the gas until they get to that line. The and the green is out as that seven car of Tom Scully up along the outside of Silva. Chad Chase in the eight. As Scully up around the outside powers by him. That 48 moving to Herb Wright. He's got the 48 around the outside of Chad Chase. Herb Wright's got the 48 beside Chad Chase. Here's the five of Corey Boudreau. They're all in it at the halfway mark. As Mr. 71, Michael Sylvia, is holding off. Tom Scully right now, and Chad Chase, and Corey Boudreau on the five have picked the faster line right at the moment, as Scully appears to be having problems holding onto the outside row all the way around in that number seven car. Mike Sylvia, Chad Chase, and Tom Scully locked in battle. Chase helping Sylvia throw the turns. I think it's the two to go. Two to go. Sylvia a little bit off the track. That slowed him down a bit. As Scully now edges ahead again. Scully able to edge ahead as the 71 dropped off the track for a moment. That lets Chad Chase out with one lap remaining in this heat. One to go. As the 71 again drops off the racetrack. Here comes your finish with Tom Scully, Chad Chase, Corey Boudreau, and the 71 all finishing in that order. And I think that uh, Todd Hedshaw probably... Here we go with Mike Cavallaro coming out, car number 87. Uh, he'll be on the pole with Dave Blanchard from Middleborough in the 74 car. 91 is Charlie Rose Jr. in the TD Sports car number 91. Steve Channing from Menden in car number 23. Bobby Tripp from Westport in the 88. I would be very Radical Rick in the 14. That's about the best way I could put it. 
Joey Sorello in the zero from Warwick, okay. and the 57 of Wayne Newman from one Sumble and Monastery. We'll see them at intermission time as well. They looking for the green. not getting off to a good start. Uh, Tony's having problems with the 37. Can't seem to get it in the right gear. We've got a race between Rose and the 23 of Steve Channing. Radical wrecking ball. As Steve Channing, Radical Rick and Charlie Rose. Adapting very quickly to the hot surface. Very, very tricky on them. As Channing showing the way around. Rick Martin in the 14, looking them over. Martin and Channing touch. Martin to the outside. Somebody is dripping something, I believe. Uh, no, I guess not. They've scratched it back out again. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, Rick has got some. Rick has got a problem. Rick has got a problem with something. I believe it's something leaking. They want him off the track. He takes the black. Whatever it is. Flowing. Rick Martin leaking something from the vehicle. They don't want him to lose an engine because he runs out of oil. And that puts Channing back in the lead with Charlie Rose in second spot. The 74. Doc Blanchard is third. Bobby Tripp gets up around the outside of the 74. Seems huh? Seems Joey Sorello settles into a qualifying spot in that zero automobile. Boo! Charlie Rose and Channing tangle with two laps to go. Channing did a super job of holding on. Another party series said something about Charlie Rose. Bobby Tripp in the 88 car. Gets by the 74 for the third spot. Joey Sorrello in this first of the Pro Stock Division. Number six is Norm Holland from Warwick. And Norm will be on the pole in this second heat with Tex Barry Jr. in car number 18 from Berkeley, the big four Holly Davidson sponsored car number 18, Len Ellis from South Dartmouth in the 41 Air Corps of New England, and Bruce Taylor from Rochester in the Lenny Bowler number three D Cran Agricultural Supplies. Quiet, please. <laughs> What, what is this? Friday night wrestling here? What's going on here? I see that in high school, but... This is one of those nights. Oh, I was only two. You know what I do on the school bus? I make the kids close the windows. Look for the green coming down. Holden gets a little bit hard on it. <laughs> Starman Norman has the lead with the 18 automobile. The Tech Ferry outside. 
And you can throw a blanket over the first five, and there's a tight race. Lenny Ellis in the 41, he's underneath the 18. As Tex Berry Jr. determined to hold on to that second spot. Freddie Estelle in the Ford 48, and Gomer Taylor in the three. Still a few Ford you'll see racing too. He tries to get under hold and closes the door. Barry has to back out of it. Now Barry gets a run on him. Up around the outside, the 48 is appears to be losing ground. His brother Stell appears to be losing ground on that outside track. As they're finding Mr. Holden a very, very difficult man as he can drive the outside or the inside and stay in front. As that home service number six is in the lead and is determined to stay there at the halfway mark on this heat. Now uh, Freddie Estelle gets up alongside of Ellis. Freddie is alongside of Ellis in the 48. As the six stretches it out. The six stretches it out. Tex Barry settles into a second spot. Ellis third. Freddie Estelle fourth in the three. Finish coming across in fifth spot. Not finishing. Danny Dias sitting in the unenviable sixth spot. Come on, guys, it's ho ho time. Must be awful greasy out there. And now Freddie gets the Ford around the outside of Ellis. Freddie has the Ford, moves it down in. The 48 moves in a third spot with. Two to go, two to go. As Storm Enormous. Whoa, oh, Barry is out of it. Very suddenly something happens to the 18 and he's out of it. It just stopped running, I believe. Now he's got it going again. He's got to get it out of the way as here comes your finish. He gets out of the way. Holden wins it with Fred Estelle second. Lenny Ellis is third. And the nine finishes fourth. As Manny Dias finished engine or something else, let go. He broke a shifter off. Couldn't, couldn't, uh, all of a sudden, was in the wrong speed or couldn't get it in or out of speed. Shift to broke. One of the 18's gears let go. Well, lost the transmission, one or the other, whatever it is. Jumped out of gear and he couldn't get it back in again. Well, let's see what kind of strange developments. I was very fortunate that that happened to text there and not when he was in that really tight jam up earlier. West Warwick will be right alongside of him. And 11th. You see, Peter Schwartz should be out there this time. Yeah, he is. Number seven, Peter Schwartz. As the Peter usually puts on a pretty good show. First time this year. Johnny Tripp gets under Ray Lee. Rodrigo moving up in ranks, still trying to make a mark in the Pro Stock Division in the 64 cars. 22 in the lead right now has had an on and off season so far. 
as Johnny Trip on the 40 and the 99 of Wayne Dio. The 5 at the 11. All slipped by Ray Lee. Here comes Dick Olihan under the 33 as they're going after that 22 automobile of Tony Dyer. give up uh, H.J.Y. and uh, I'll give up here. We'll go track it. <laughs> I'm ready to give it all up for this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good deal. And I too, of course, is they, they're not in the truck sales. That, they they want to make it clear. They're not in the truck sales. They're arranging all this. Ken Bamford in the 15th from Coventry. The Simpsons Brothers Auto Sales sponsored F&H Machine Automobile. We'll be on the pole. Dave Nassimeno from Swansea in the kind of Thank you. Not right now, please. No. Just, just hold on a minute. I've got to do it. Coming up for a green here. Eight to qualify, and we've got, what, uh, nine out there. So, actually, this is a uh, man and a half business here. Dave Nassimeno in that nine, the 59 car. He's uh, out the outside, burning it on the inside. As they put Ken Bamford through the turn, and Bamford, whoop! Bamford suddenly found himself in a lot of trouble with two very, very fast cars, one on either side of him. And now Bernier and Nascimento go at it. And then what Cowan wants to get that 56 to run well, get up in there, even though. Uh, can easily qualify the 56. He wants to use this as a kind of a test lapse. The Bernier and Nascimento going at it hot and heavy. The 42 Bobby Leclerc and the 32 Billy Goodrow staying right with them. Louis Dias is the 91. The 92 is Jimmy White and he's having problems. As the 15 is dropping back, further and further back. It's a little wild around here, doesn't it? An awful lot of things happen that you don't, just don't have time for. Yeah. At the halfway mark. I try to kick, kick everybody out of here and it doesn't work. Sometimes there'll be 30 people standing behind the car. Right. Pete Bernier in the lead. 
Pass that body to the clerk. Moves up in his second spot. He's got some of his problems squared away if he can fight Asimento. Billy Goodrow has got some of his problems squared away. Remember, these cars finished ninth and further back. Great. Stay up with the faster cars. He'll be starting, all of these cars will be starting at the rear of the pack in the feature event. The 15th back going again. As he suddenly realizes he can qualify. Hold on, the 91 and the 16. 91 and the 16, when he was at the turn, the 91 appeared to uh, become a big racing night. A good night. And you can say, well, geez, I, I had to go to the press box club. Had to get out. All signs no. Looking for the green again. I guess we get everybody back. Unreason unbelievable. A lot of pots missing, but we're all racing. going that time. And the 15, he was he had given up the show until they finally realized he could qualify it with white flag coming out. The 15, uh, Kenny Bamford. Now up there in fifth. As the fortunes are racing. Hold on. I should have spoke too soon as Kenny loses it around he goes. Takes a moment of lost concentration. And you're finishing. Eight ready with the 30. With the 42 ahead of Nascimento. Congratulations, Jackie and Randy of Precision Engine. You want to announce? They're called Nicole. They uh, cheer on Radical Rick. I do anything you want to do, love. All right, I can do it right now. Excuse me. Well, see, uh, the, what's the what's the Park symbol? Panel. No, the little unicorn. What's it doing there in the program, please? If you find a unicorn on your Cisco's ad, kick him off! Kick him off! <laughs> You're so mean. You're so mean. Don't you know I'm an animal lover? If you find that unicorn, come on down after the sportsman. A gift certificate to Carpano's. I can't believe it's yoga gift certificate. Atlantic Belbin Service Station has given away a couple of gift certificates. And Trackside, the Northeast hottest racing publication, has given away a free three month, six issue trial subscription. Also, if you get a, a little sticker on your Grease Monkey ad, bring that down anytime because we want to take your name because you're going to get a free oil change. That's Grease Monkey on Flurry Rab in Seacock. Thanks, Jim. I had a unicorn once, <laughs> but they wouldn't let me keep it. Uh, 78, Tom Curry from Norwich will be on the pole in this one. This is the consolation event as the Darien Tree Service Patchett's Auto Parts car out. Beyond the pole, it's hot laps time. Jeff Thompson in the 46, outside Somerset, Massachusetts. Ray Lee will be in this one. In the 33, Tony South Gethro in the 37. Doug Hansen in the 82. Peter Schwartz in the 7. Radical Rick in this one. Rick, uh, if you notice, remember, was having uh, a fluid problem. Peter Schwartz in the 7th, <laughs> Tex Barry Jr. will be out there in the 18th, George Rigo in the 64, Mike Cavallaro, Steve Gustafson, Paul LaPlante, as they are trying for starting positions in the feature. They haven't made a dime yet. Consolation event, very, very important. These cars haven't made any money yet. The others have qualified for the feature, so they will make something for being in the feature. These cars haven't made a dime. They've got to get in the feature event. Rick Martin, if you recall, had uh, black flagged as he was leading the event with some kind of a fluid coming out of the automobile. Whatever the problem was, they wanted to get him off. And they, in case it was oil, they didn't want him to uh, lose a motor. Plus, they didn't want the oil for the racetrack. So, Tom McCurry, we're bringing them around. Ray Lee, very rare. And uh, Gustafson, Steve Gustafson, a brand new 17. 
Tammy's Kitchen. So bring them around right in front of the pits is the point at which they will be stepping on it. And there's the green. What a pushing and banging went through that first turn. Whoa, the 46 way out wide against the wall. Rick Martins, very quick to get up in there. There's Jeff Thompson, a little squirrely. Martin settles in behind Ray Lee. There's Tom McCurry. There's the lead. Down the inside goes Ray Lee. Nope. Curry closes the door again. Curry from North Connecticut. Ray a little bit squirrely on that back stretch. It must be a little bit greasy out there. Okay. And the 46 has stopped. Whoa, does that very scary through the turns. And George Rigo was looking for more steering wheel as he was using all of it. The 37 a little bit side saddle. As the 46 may end up as a hazard. There goes Rick Martin around the outside. Rick Martin taking over the lead in this constellation event. Peter Schwartz moving the seven up through as we got the 46 to 17. Parallel parked over on the back stretch, not a good sign. Yellow was out. Yellow is out as the 46 just doesn't want to go. This time, coming around, looking for the green. I need a set of rules. Why can I get that? As we try for the final standing positions in the heat, in the feature event, six to qualify. Coming down there, they pass the stripe, the green is out, and Rick Martin grabs a great big portion of the lead and is going to let it out a little bit as he wants to test it before it comes to feature time. in that seven car right behind him and Tex Barry Jr. in the 18. George Rigo's got the 64 down pat right now. George is getting closer and closer. Rick Martin making it look easy. Remember, he just didn't run in the heat. So he uh, would naturally be faster right now than these other cars who did run and didn't qualify. Whatever changes they made to Peter Schwartz's car and to Tex Barry's and to Ray Lee's, they've been able to keep them pretty much running the same as Rick Martin qualifies. I don't think I forgot anything. I probably have, but that's one of the Several cars in really total demolishment. Last week they went non stop. I know last week they went non stop, but the, the uh, other stuff went to dad. Who won last week? Chad Chase. Chad Chase won last week, didn't he? Yeah. Don't argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Sylvia will be on the pole in car number 71. 
the Appenau Collision Shanana Automobile. Todd Henshaw from Raynham. And Dave Moldings, car number 28, Eurotech Auto Body, Belvin Service Station in Lakeville, sponsored car number 28, John's Auto Repair. Starting in third spot is Dana Willis from Hanson in York's Landscaping Allied Auto Parts. With Ralph Haynes from North Attleboro in car number 97. And a big shiny Junior's Auto Supply sponsorship on that right front fender. Junior personally went out and polished that corner of the car. Car number 97, Ralph Haynes. Herb Wright here from Brockton in car number 48, Lynch's Towing on Auto with Kevin. Why would you like to go down and interview the driver? Uh, Jim? Nothing about that. Yeah, you have to. Look for the green. Here's the green coming out. This is starting to heat up in real good shape now. There's a lot of racing still to go. Look, Chad Chase way in the back, yet a long ways to go. And the green is racing. As Mike Silva and Tom Scully with Bobby Pellin in that 12 car and Corey Boudreau in the five. A little bumpity bump all the way back. Chain reaction. Sometimes that's a careful application. If you can slow the guy down behind you, you'll lose his momentum, and they'll bang him all the way back. The bump will take right. place all the way through the turn, and right. you're coming out of the turn on fire, you know? Down the inside, try Scully, but no, the 71 holds him off at the halfway mark. Coming up the halfway. Oh, a bad jam up right here on the fourth turn. We have bits and pieces. We have bits and pieces of two automobiles as the 23 gets away. But Bernier has lost his radiator. Don't let him drive around. Okay, there's 
the point. There's the racing. This time, Stop Scully has got the little bit of a jump off the turn, but can he close the door? Yes. Scully manages to get the door closed. It's Ralph Haynes. Off back onto the racetrack for the back of the field. It's Tom Scully in the lead. Ryan Sosa in the 88, 81, and the 12 of Pelt. Yes, Scully being challenged. Seems to be able to get by him with two to go, two to go, two to go. It's Scully and Souza. Souza waiting his turn. Hassel right behind him. One lap to go. One lap to go. Souza looks for the hole. No. Half a lap for Scully. Scully out of the turn. We got trouble on turn two. Scully out of the turn and takes the win. Scully takes the win as the 32, uh, Billy Goodrow having a problem in the second turn, but Tom Scully could not be bested. Dunright roofing the Warwick, Rhode Island's Tom Scully in car number seven. The heck is white sheet? And we got, uh, they're setting them up right now. Pete Sylvia from HJY. We got Pete, Pete down there, and he just refuses to let him have it. Well, I'm making the change with others. And we have, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Scully. Yeah. yeah. What are your sponsors? Give us a list of your sponsors. D and D Enterprises, Don Wright Roofing man. System, uh, Mall Motors, Hune Race Cars, Delta Clutch. Uh, it's, it's too many to land. Yeah. Right? 
And how does the track feel tonight? It's starting to get cool now. It's sticky. Good. Top felt good. You know, top felt good. Yeah. You look happy. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Holly Scully, Warford Island. Come on. He's still on his down. 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 In Italian, yeah, you can do it in Italian. Oh, you you hear him? Just barely hear you, so they're still working. Okay. Testing. Well, I'm testing. Don't forget about Al Cooney's thing. The one casting the big shadow down there. Dedicated for a truck sale from Walpo, giving $200. First star bank is Morgan Wisconsin, with $200. Dean Casper. Marion Allen is showing the agency for Valley, Georgia, with $200. Shark Transportation in South Kingston, Rhode Island, Charlie Sullivan's the contact name with $100. Southern Transportation in Worcester, Carmelby with $100. Sea Line Trucking in Warwick. Let's stop this. They were too evenly matched, guys. Let's bring in a different party stuff down. Let's bring in a different. Let's bring in a different Go, man! Go, man! 
me in front of me. Who's going to call this one? And Mike Corbello's car. What? Mike Corbello's oh, car and Ray Bagnell's. Hey. The flip of the coin. <laughs> Tails. Tails. Wait a minute. Tails. Tails. The pit sheets again. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I come here every night with $250 for you, and that room will take it. I got money for you tonight, and I got a feeling the kids are going to take it. Right, me and your cousin. Me and your cousin. Oh Ron, after they do four laps, let's give them a pair of bicycles. <laughs> good luck, Jonathan, me boy. All right, Johnny, good luck, and we'll see you here in four laps. Which one's Bobby getting into? All right, which one are you going to get into, Bobby? As you can see, they're, they're uh, equal manufacturer, equal car. <laughs> hey, listen, 11 o'clock is curfew, guys. Yeah! How do I get in? Uh, John. John. Johnny Tripp. We got one handicap on yours. I think Marshall has to ride in the back on your car. <laughs> you and I next week, Jim. <laughs> yeah. That'd be something. Do they have automatic transmission race cars? All the years, I've never done it. All right, Johnny's in the third. Bobby's in the 15, and they got to figure out how they can get those. Holding that inside lane tight as Bobby has got that four cylinder wound right up tight on the outside. They're still neck and neck. Remember, this is the first time they've ever driven those cars. The back end drive is completely different from the front wheel drive. Out of the turn, and. Very close as Johnny Tripp and Bobby Tripp looking for the last share of $1,150 down the back stretch, coming around for the halfway mark. It's still neck and neck, side by side, cheek to cheek, jowl to jowl, across the line. We still have to tell you who was going to get the uh, official prize. It's halfway through. They have two more left to go now. John has moved down onto the inside. Look out. Here comes Bobby. As he puts his nose in, Johnny closes the door on him with two laps remaining, two laps remaining. There's Bobby down the inside. And Johnny now has the longer way to go on the outside. He's got to keep his foot in that four cylinder. And look out, Bobby gets a little loose in the rear. And Bobby a little bit too far into that turn. Johnny.
I know Grace has taken a vacation to get away from uh, father and son, and uh, we got some uh, nice prize dollars for you. So we got Marilyn Kay from the association. She's holding on to that money like it's gold. And the money's come from Wisconsin, it's come from Georgia. Nothing came from Seacon, it came from Rhode Island. Uh, but we got some money here, so let's have the checks, Marilyn, if you can. Let's give the runner-up check first to, or it's actually cash. Runner-up. You better count that. Uh, you can get hands off the window chair, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks. I really good for that. It's, uh, I think, about $460 in there in cash. And that should cover the price of the tire. I hope so. John! Come on out of his pocket. I'm sorry, would you repeat that for your listening audience? Come on out of his pocket. Here's uh, the winner's purse, and that should be $690. But Grace told me to hold it until she gets back. <laughs> the rent money? Uh, are you over to again paying the room rent? Yeah, I think so. I'm over to Yeah, you get your hands in the cookie jar. But let's, let's get the trophies out here. Now, this is nice because of the fact that uh, one gets the lion's share of the uh, of the dollars. The one that gets the smaller trophy. And it says, my God, I can't read anymore. Winner, Trip Family Challenge Rights, Seacon Speedway, June 26, 1993. Presented by the Independent Truck Auto Operators Association. And unfortunately, I wasn't sure which one could run, so I couldn't get your name engraved on it. And with the money you got, you get engraved yourself. Hey, yeah, this is as tall as, uh, as Bobby is. It's probably the only one that can win that they won't take away from you for running your Uber. And where are the uh, owners for the 30 and the 15? Are you guys here? Marilyn, why don't you put caps on these guys? We get some food press. <laughs> for the Trip Family Award Challenge Race, for the car owner, there is yours, and our audience, thank you. And you are the other one, and we thank you to get that hat off and get the right one on. <laughs> she should give money, and you still can't teach her nothing. I thought I took everything I knew in your store. Oh, no, nothing, Mr. Bagger. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we ought to give a big round of applause to Mr. Bagnell and Mr. Rebello for turning their vehicles over. These cars for this moment, the chance to win the Seacon feature. Each and every Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen, we go at it at 6 o'clock at night. And this is the crowning achievement each and every Saturday night. And the green. And we felt that it was not a, uh, a true start. You can tell he was not that excited about the green. He's going to make him come die and come by. He's going to warn him not to do anything until they cross that line. By evenly. Jimmy Wilkins is going in the pits. Jimmy has problems. He's going in the pits with the number five car. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it back out again or not. They're calling for one lap. They're calling for one lap to let to see what the matter. Maybe Jimmy had a flat in time. All that power must not be allowed to get away. <laughs> and there's the green. Tony Dias in the lead. Tony Dias in the lead with Don Walden in the six car sitting in second spot. Lenny Ellis in the 41 is third.
setting a pretty fast pace. Dick Colahan and Peter Schwartz, no, it's Rick Martin and Peter Schwartz swap places. But very little passing taking place right now as Holden and Dias side by side, round and round they go. Lenny Ellis waiting behind to see which one is going to be able to pull out of it. Holden way wide. Holden got wide coming out of that fourth turn and lost ground. Went a long extra distance. Holden deep into the turn. Let's see if he does the same thing again. This time he cuts it close. That's very canny. We waited for him to go wide and he did. He came right down across and took over the lead. Right behind the Wayne Dion gets around the 22. The 22 drops out. The 22 drops out. Dye is going into the pits with problems as Dion takes on Ellis. Johnny Tripp underneath Dion. behind Charlie Rose, and a spin. Is it Rick? Is that Rick Martin? Yeah. As Rick Martin, who has been plagued with problems all evening, gets around backwards, coming out of the turn. Yeah, the left down. Confused the one that Well, Eddie Ellis, every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, they... <coughs> Speed Talk Show, 7 o'clock. Lenny posted by Lenny Ellis. Lenny's on the outside pole right now. You can call up and find out what it feels like to be on the outside pole Wednesday night. Call up from Cabarco's lounge. As the green is out, Dion gets his nose under Ellis. and takes over third. Johnny Tripp on the hunt as Gomer Taylor backwards on the racetrack in the fourth turn. All right, he calls for it. They'll get it on the coming out of the pitch, crossing the line. The kids will have something to do, and I think that's a great idea. She wants to be complimented on, look for the green this time as they come around. We have 20 laps remaining in this feature event, and it is. No. No, no, no. That whole inside row got penalized because, uh, and even this time, Third, 
Johnny Tripp is fourth. And Sprague and Dias get tangled up. Steve Schwartz and Dias, that is. Schwartz, he's been having a terrible night. As the 22 goes in the pits. As the 23 appears to be holding back quite a lot of automobiles behind him. Hanging out of that spot and using it. Sitting in fifth spot with a lot of speed behind him. As Dion drives on that outside row again for size. Dion has some momentum going into the turn.
Take care of the back end. You move over a little bit. You alone? Just wait alone. No, I gotta get hit. I gotta get you. Need that sign. Need that sign. Need okay. that sign. Well, I like to put that right here because I like to keep Good. the fields in. Yeah. Come on, man. All right. Hey, Al, I hey. told you I'd make it here this year. <laughs> okay. Pick room. Pick room. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come on, pal. What did you want, guys? Hi, wait. Hi, Thank you. Trying to work with Adrian makes me so nervous. Uh, that's what Mike said. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the green, and yes, there it is. And it looks like 495 in rush hour as everybody moves in and out and around. Stay ahead of everybody else, as that's the safest place to be. Way out in front. Keep the road, and we got, look at this over here, we got a car pretty well. Totally smuggled here, the cliffs got hit hard. They're checking, they'll, they'll check right quick on that one. We're waiting to see here, let's hope everything's all right. He just got nailed there. Is he okay? Zero of the 99 slide through the turns together. Gene 
Weston and Glenn Young as they are notching them down. Scott Zaranitsky takes over the lead. Scott Estrella is running second. Amasi Hammond is now third. As that 31 of Richard Clark being challenged by Buff Bentworth. Halfway mark, Estrella to the outside of Serenitsky. Tomasi Hammond right under. And Gene Weston coming on through with the 99 behind him. The 99 having a little bit of handle problem getting through the turns. As they get by Bentoncourt, the 99 knocks off another one. Here he comes. Kicking out without any warning in the turns, trying to straighten it out. Staying with Gene Weston as they wake their way up through traffic. Got Serenity, still has the lead. I'm happy to have it in second. Scott Estrella is third. The 31, uh, Richard Clark is fourth. Then we have the double zero, Gene Weston, the 99, and Glenn Young. up here, a lot of keys. Frank Kaiser Sr. will be on the pole in car number 48 in the next one, and Scott Fanning in the 98 of the outside pole from Smithfield, Rhode Island, r, &R Farms. Uh, Richie Wisher from Warwick in car number 29, the uh, Wisher Trucking, BNR Auto and Truck. Have another one? Have another one? Manneke Muffler, Perrins Auto Body, Falcon Cleaner, all sponsored Richie Wisher. Russ Tetro in the car number 62 with Frank Kaiser Jr. in, in the zero car from North Providence. So we got a Kaiser first and the Kaiser fifth. And Scott Serendisky, they'll be pulling in the infield and have a quick West Greenwich, Rhode Island. Tim Nesbitt in the 09 from Newport in the TSR services in TAT construction. Uh, Scott Sundin from East Douglas, Sundin Furniture, Standard Auto Wrecking, Hair Deposit, Alex Auto Electric from East Douglas, I'll be on Luxbridge Joe by Lake Webster. Turn number 84 is Dave Radfield from Warren, Rhode Island, Cutler Construction, Jack Salvage, Steve's Transmission, Shaw's Engineering, Martin Science, and Modern Grinding Technology. Uh, then we have Gene Carter in the 78 from Canton, Chandler's Canton Supplies, WD Pub, Saul, 78, sponsors of Gene Carter. Dave Westgate from Taunton in the 49, Freetown Auto, Auto Services Unlimited, sponsor the 49 of Dave Westgate. Mark Gagdy in the 50 from Portsmouth, Rhode Island, Stroper's Bar and Grill, Meineke Mucklers, Dan's Radiator, Arts Tavern, Quality Paint and Paper, and Willis Race Cars. There's a real sampling of sponsors for uh, Mark Gagdy. 29's going to blow the field away. Where is he starting? Huh? Third. Oh, Richard Wisha? Oh, yeah. He stays together, he will. Bring it up, Dad, nice and gentle. Looking for it. When they get it cut off. Ready? 
to go. Ready to go. Yeah, good race. Pull it out of the way, white flag! 
coming out. Oh, wow. As Wisher and the 50 get together, one lap remains. As Wisher and Gagney get together, here comes your victory coming out of the turn. It's Wisher and Gagney. And Gagney wins it. Official winner of the 50 is being penalized for rough riding two spots. So Richard. Let him move him, Brian. Let him move him, Brian.